It's a constant drug war with federal, state, and local law enforcement. Demand in the U.S. for drugs like marijuana is high, but harder drugs like methamphetamines are being seen more at our borders. Customs and Border Protection officers at the Denis de Concini and Mariposa Port of Entries are seeing major drug seizures on harder drugs, such as meth, cocaine, and heroin. These types of drugs that not only gives a person an all-time high, but could even jeopardize someone else's life, are being detected more at our borders. Now, what type of narcotics have you guys been seeing that is on the rise right now? We still see marijuana coming in inside vehicles, um, but not as much as the harder narcotics that we've been intercepting lately. In Nogales, at the start of CBP fiscal year 2016, commencing on October 1st, 2015, CBP officers have seized 323 kilograms in meth, 132 kilograms in cocaine, and 73 kilograms in heroin. Marcial Mandaris, Nogales CBP spokeswoman, has been with CBP for years and has seen and dealt with common drug seizures like marijuana. Plus, she notices a drastic rise in seizures on harder drugs such as meth. We have our, our, our tools, which is our canines, our x-ray units, and they are a great tool for us to help us intercept these type of drugs. While Customs and Border Protection officers at the border inspect 8.8 million vehicles and 24.7 million passengers and pedestrians, they try to intercept as many narcotics as they can using multiple techniques and technology. But there's always some that get away. Those who do continue with the smuggling, they are driving or walking through the Nogales city limits. That's when the Nogales Police Department steps up and pursues those who try to flee north and catch the roadway to the interstate. Being next to a major corridor and especially through the uh, I-19 area, it leads you straight to the heart of the United States and it is hard to detect all the time. Anything coming, being smuggled into the U.S. or out of the U.S., our job here is to intervene these illegal uh, activities to protect our community here in Nogales. According to the Haida Task Force, a law enforcement agency that deals with the investigation of narcotic seizures in the county, notes that there has been 156 pounds of methamphetamine seized in the fiscal year of 2015 in Santa Cruz County. Unfortunately, you know, it has gone up. It's a constant battle that we face every day. It's one of our, it's one of our challenges that we face every day that, you know, CVP as a whole faces every day. It's something that is never going to, you know, end. It's a, it's a drug war and every day we fight that battle. We win some battles, we lose some battles, but eventually they get caught. There are several ways in which people attempt to cross illegal substances through the U.S.-Mexico border, while law enforcement continue to battle with this epidemic of dangerous drugs crossing the border. Reporting at the U.S.-Mexico border, Christian Viegas, NLNN.